Hello, my YouTube audience. This is Charge of Omega speaking, bringing up another Let's Play. Today, we're going to be playing Portal 2. <clears throat> and we'll play single player. Yes, auto save, we know. Just get to the cutscene, you idiot. And as you can see, you can see Gladys's dead body right there. Locked away. Instructions. Please the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a frame paint on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided inspired intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Yeah, very peaceful. Very invigorating. Not, let's just go to sleep. One of my favorite pastimes. Good morning. You have been suspension for What? Where am I? Nah, I won't pop. You all right down there? Can yeah. You hear me? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. All right, because the game can't hear me. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just, yes. Just say yes. Yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. But never mind, say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. Apple. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Whoa! Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Yeah! The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. Tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there. 
This is a docking station. Get ready. Boom. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Goodness, my ass. on this Hold on. There you we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you've got that good jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and on the up ahead. Okay. See you, Wheatley. Oh, yeah, and that guy's called Wheatley. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Again, experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in 3, 2, 1. Aha! Take that timing. <laughs> yeah. Cube and bus based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing cause this emergency, and don't want to the odds of examining twice are very slim. Please help you to conduct the pipe field for crossing the Okay. <clears throat> I'll be seeing you in, in part two now. Okay. So this is Short of Omega. Uh, signing off. Peace. experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation cells may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Okay, now signing off. Peace!